looking at me. What's your issue now, little hawk? Don't co- Just don't, all right? You're looking for fodder for your stories. Do you think you're that interesting? I have enough trouble being overshadowed as it is. I don't need to get caught under an imaginary me, too. Don't you worry. I'm not in the business of lullabies or children's stories. The thieves are gone, guardsman. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of slew the Archdemon to save us all. Fat lot they care here. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Who are you protecting? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the Blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? Oh, perish the thought. Another delicate mage flower. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. Your healer is in no danger from me. Right. Perfectly safe if he cooperates. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know, to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. I should have stayed home and took my chances with the Blight. Kids to feed. Where do I find work? We heard you in there, asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. You want him safe? Don't pick fights with other Ferelden's while the Templars are after us all. Ferelden? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our Queen Anora.
Varric, do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. You watch and you talk? Is that it? You are dismissing hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. Like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. Good day, citizen. The elves who don't live here actually have it worse. I'd hate to be an elf in Darktown. Maybe I should put you to use, Farrick. Have you penned some warnings for the Lawless? Who's that for? Are most criminals big readers? Seems like pacifying the nobles. Pictures, then. It was just a suggestion. Well, how about a giant sign that just says don't? You could hit people with it. Thank you. I get the point. Interesting place. Let's not stay here for long. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. Thank you. 
He didn't really ask you to wear a feather bow. Oh, Asian, darling. You get used to it. Tell Sabina if a rat gets underfoot again, I'll drop kick him out the door. I think I found something of yours. I I had never thought to see this again. Thank you. How can these nighttime streets be so dangerous? We should clear these idiot thugs out. because it's dark. Are you answer? Ah! Sweet mother of Parth. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? Did you think I was going to attack you? Oh, no, no. Uh, all right. Hope not. Anyhow, my apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. I'd pay to see that. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. You know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars? Of course he is. That's just bloody great. Shh! By the Paragons! Not so loudly! My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted.
Make it worth my time and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. Practically a guarantee. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Those goods are probably in that chest. It's empty. Waste of bloody time. Who put us up to this? I guess we have no choice but to go back to Anso and tell him. Not the elf. Who is that? 
It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. Never assured. <laughs> Serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing now. Captain, your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave. <laughs> a slave. I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. It appears we're unscathed. Impressive. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, and so chose wisely. Everything Anso said was a lie, then? Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. Hanzo's job did seem a little too easy. Perhaps the deception was unnecessary. If so, I am sorry. I have become too accustomed to hiding. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. All that for an empty chest? No, there's more. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. You lured me into a trap, and now you want my help? If Anso had told you to divert an ambush of Tevinter bounty hunters, would you have done it? It should have been my decision. Had I known of you earlier, I might have asked you personally. I had only Anso to rely on, I fear. I'm not lying to you now. Please, help me do this. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Daenerys wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Kunari mage, a personal pet to mock Kunari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. Very well, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning.
the alien, it should not be this quiet. These streets should be safe at night. Care to help out with that? No one has left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Daenerys may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. I could stand to know a little more about this Daenerys. He is a Magister of the Tevinter Imperium. Oh, is that all? Nothing to worry about, then. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. What's the worst that could happen? I do not fear death. That does not mean we should be reckless. Denarius! Now that's just rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots.
He sends spirits to do his fighting for him. Denarius! Can you hear me? Your pets cannot stop us! I don't think I can do that. Not likely. Done.
gone. I had hoped... No, it doesn't matter any longer. I assume Daenerys left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I... need some air. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of yet another mage. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. Tell me then, what manner of mage are you? What is it that you seek? I'm not seeking anything. Yet danger will undoubtedly find you. If you have a problem with my brother, you have a problem with me. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> The truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys' choice, one he now regrets. You didn't seem all that thrilled with me a moment ago. You are not Daenerys. Whether you are anything like him remains to be seen. I've seen some of your abilities. Do they come from those markings? Some. All I know is that even in the Imperium, warriors such as myself are rare. Perhaps they believe I should feel honored. Do you think your master will keep chasing you? He is too proud not to. Perhaps one day the hunt will cost him more than he is willing to pay. But I doubt that matters any longer. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal.
A Grigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. I can't imagine why they would be put off. You say what's on your mind. I'll give you that. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. There's more, if you're really interested. Perish the thought. How else would you redecorate the walls? <laughs> hmm. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I've started a life here. And that's it. You leave it behind so easily. I lost my sister to the Blight. And now she no longer matters to you? I apologize. Your life is your own. It simply sounds very familiar. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No. It is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. You've been on the run a long time then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. You won't let sleeping dogs lie. No, I am no fool. Sounds like a tough situation. I'm not made of glass. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Anser would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Maybe I should be thanking Anso. Maybe you should. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. <laughs>